Greetings fellow and future star citizens, Greyheaded Gamer here. We're back in our hangar, gonna take another look at some flare. Uh, we got our actual July subscriber flare today, uh, and it is not our Starfarer model. So I figured we'd come on up here and say goodbye to a beautiful piece of behavior art that we are not supposed to have yet. Uh, Lexus uh, posted in the, I believe the sub subscribers forum, and said that it is a mistake and it will be coming back out. So. Ah, goodbye, sweet prince. So hopefully we'll still be able to receive this as a uh, subscriber flare gift. I know that concept ship cells include a model, so you may also get this if you bought the Starfarer. It's a beautiful model. I love the tiling they have on the body of that. That just looks looks amazing. This may be the last look I get at it because I'm going to be leaving with the family this weekend. Won't be back until next week. So if it's not there, at least I have it on video and I can check it out until at least we get it. Hopefully we'll get it soon. Uh, also found out that we're not going to be getting any of the, the big back end work on the patch that's going to the PTU. There are some changes, uh, balancing and whatnot. Uh, they'll also be, I think, adding the Scythe and the Merlin, if I'm not mistaken. So that's really cool. Merlin is going to be sold separately. It's going to be more expensive than the Buggy, but less expensive than a Aurora. So it may be a $20 or $25 ship. That's going to be excellent also. No jump drive. It will have a quantum drive, but no jump drive. So I haven't got to see this yet, so let's head on over. I'm excited. I love the Polisi. Polisi? I believe that's how you pronounce it. Probably not, though. I'm bad at pronouncing stuff. But I love this series of stuff. There she is. So a piece of Sith. Sith. Oh, my goodness. I got Star Wars on my brain, guys. Sorry. Comic-Con, they had an awesome video of the uh, new Star Wars movie coming. Uh, a Scythe. A piece of Scythe armor. I guess the UEE found a Vandal carrier and sold off all the uh, stuff in it. So... I guess Puli Pulisi or Puglisi bought some up and uh, using it for their cool little artifact in a case deal. I love how it just sits there. They're, uh, this and the Space Rock, how it just rotates. Get a good look on all the corners. And it really is a, uh, a nice, well-detailed piece. Very nice. I love it. I love it. I'm, I'm, you know, the flare, I know it's not a game changer, but I love it. And there's the plaque. Tells you the whole story about them finding the, the dead carrier and selling off the scrap and whatnot. And even the cases that, uh, that house the artifacts are really nice, real nicely done. They look good in the hangers. And like I said, I'm, I'm most excited about flare because of what we can do with it later. Uh, you know, decorating and changing things around once the room system is in, it's going to be very cool. You got these, uh, like, stasis field, I guess, generators down there. I guess that's what's holding it up. All of it so very nicely detailed. Love it. Of course, I do think I like my space rock more. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I think it is absolutely beautiful. Hey, you know, I never noticed this little control panel here. Very, very cool with the stasis field generators as well. So there is your uh, new subscriber flare, guys. Not this one. Not the rock. This one here. Scythe armor. Very cool. Oh, yeah, we got a little... Uh, oh, doesn't have as much information, but it's got a little readout on the side as well. Very nice. All right, guys. Well, there is your Puglisi July subscriber flare. Very nice. Thanks for joining me, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the other Star Citizen content creators out there. And I will see you guys later.